Hey everybody, it's me, Peppy from Peppy's Plants. I want to show you a one gallon mango tree we've got here. And you'll notice some tape. And you'll notice this uh, little piece sticking out that's much thinner and younger. And you'll notice from here, going all the way down to here, this is what's called a rootstock. This is a mango seedling right there. And you're looking at a grafted carry scion. That's a scion. This part here, the thinner part, with the tape is called the scion. That came from a mature, productive, carry mango tree. And what we did is we grafted it on to the rootstock of, well, I don't even know what mango this was, but it doesn't matter. It was just a seed that we planted, and you can use that as your uh, mother plant for your graft. So, well, I shouldn't say mother plant. This is your rootstock. This is the plant that you're going to graft onto. And then what we've done is we've used a regular green uh, tie tape. You can see, uh, you know, have to use that you can use anything you can bind it with that's good and tight and it's going to make a good connection so this would be your scion right here of your carry you can see it's developing really nicely very nice very healthy and then this part over here is your rootstock of any mango seed that you want to grow so grafting the tree uh, is important because now if I want to have a carry which this is a carry that was grafted on uh, July 7th of 2012 from one of our carry trees. We grafted on with a side veneer graft. Grafting is basically the art of taking uh, rel related plants uh, and getting them to produce fruit of the same exact variety with exact same characteristics. And we do that by fusing them together. So. This, again, is, a, I, I think I mentioned earlier, this is a side veneer graft, and this is the scion part, and we've got the translucent looking tape is called uh, parafilm, which is good to use uh, to wrap it up all around there to make sure that nothing dries out. Uh, when this graft was originally done, the parafilm was actually wrapped around the uh, crown or the bud where it began to swell, and we slowly, you know, see the... Uh, uh, scion beginning to open and the leaves coming out as it starts to to um, to burst uh, out of its uh, state of uh, I wouldn't say dormancy but out of its um, with the, the word is vigor as the vigor of that uh, scion begins to develop and grow through um, we begin to either observe it break through the parafilm or we, we we help it along and we slowly remove the parafilm now this parafilm can be completely removed and I'll be doing that later and I'm pretty confident that this is well on its way to being practically fused completely. Uh, so I'm sure that this is going to be fine. And uh, we'll keep monitoring the growth of the scion. And we will then, when we get a little more growth, maybe another, say, another flush comes out and that hardens off. I will then take this big piece here and I will bend it down all the way. I'll just bend it and um, eventually we'll remove it uh, little by little. Maybe start taking off, for example, take off the top part. Maybe just leave that leaf there alone. Just leave that. And then later go ahead and remove it completely down to right there towards the left side. As close to the, to the uh, part where it's been grafted as possible. And um, this will now be called a carry mango. So that's a little bit about grafting. Just a little bit of basics. Uh, for those with, with a, lot of, a lot more experience uh, than the average person when it comes to grafting, you're going to notice that the scion, this part here, on the right side, is pretty thin. Uh, and we did use a relatively thin piece of scion compared to the thickness of the rootstock. But nevertheless, if you're able to get one good side of your scion to make good contact and the conditions are right, you can get even a thinner piece in the right state and we'll in another video explain uh, what to look for <clears throat> you can't just grab that scion and use it all the time it has to be in a certain state a certain condition that is um, going to make it um, able to grow uh, the vigor of the plant is maintained inside that scion and you want to select the right scion. You don't just want to grab any piece of wood from the tree and think that you're going to graft it. Um, you have to know a little bit more. Anyway, in the future, we'll give you more information on grafting. Uh, and we'll actually demonstrate how it's done. But this is just to give you a little introduction. 
All right, well, we hope you enjoyed the video. This is Peppy from Peppy's Plants. You can visit us at peppysplants.com on the internet. If you like Miracle Fruit, you can also visit us at miraclefruit.info. Hope you like our channel, and um, I'm holding this with one hand, and it's a little shaky, so maybe the video won't come out too bad. And there's a blue jay saying hello to you. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's up here in the tree on the upper right-hand corner. Remember, try to grow everything as organic as you possibly can. Limit your use of pesticides, unless they're organic pesticides. Limit your use of fungicides. Let's help the planet stay healthy. Let's keep ourselves healthy. And uh, don't let the government control our food supply. Anyway, more about that on other videos. Okay, God bless everybody. Talk to you soon. Glad you were here. Hope you learned something.